Now I know what you're thinking. Um, obviously, I have not gotten that star yet in a recording segment, anyways. But since I was recording and the computer crashed on me for no no good reason, we're gonna have to do that one again because you know I just explained it pretty much. So, anyways, today's uh, January first, two thousand eleven. Now that's right, two thousand eleven. Wow. Well, actually, yeah, that is pretty cool. 2011, I mean, 2010 was a rather short year for me. I mean, the beginning, but the long, but um, the later got in the year, it just became really, really long feeling. And I don't know, long feeling. It felt long, yeah. That's grammatically correct, I guess. Now I could, um, or I could have took took in a long way, but I'm gonna do a cheap, short way. Huh. Well, I kind of ruined it there because I was supposed to do a, a backflip jump kind of type thing, and I kind of ruined it. Now let's see what happens if I. Yeah, nothing. But hey, a tentacle. Let's uh, rip it off for no apparent reason. It's a octocopter. Geez, that would make an awesome desktop background or like a YouTube background or whatnot. I swear. Anyways, this guy is Gooper Blooper. We'll be seeing him, like, I believe, three more, no, four more times after this. But he's a pushover. Yeah, he's just a pushover like that. I mean, just gotta, like, remove his tentacles just by ripping them off individually. It is possible to defeat him without ripping off any tentacles, but kind of tricky to pull off though so let's see if you can get the cork out of his mouth ouch now when he starts struggling you could just take it off from there but you could just like let it go from now from there but I choose not to because I don't know this is like cleaning up a baby's face or something which reminds me I was watching like a home video the other day and I was like and in the video I was like eating a uh, I was only like two or so, but I was eating, uh, what's it called, ravioli, and I had a glass of milk there, and I, I had some bread, so I dipped the, I dipped the ravioli into the bread, or the bread into the ravioli, and then I, for some reason, I dipped the, the, the ravioli into the milk, so it's kind of, been, kind of funny, actually, not really embarrassing, but the older state, the older stages on like seven. If you watch home videos, it's kind of even more embarrassing. I don't know. Sometimes you're wondering, what the hell was I thinking back then? So I still didn't get a headset, so I haven't really. Well, I have left this house, but I haven't really been shopping lately, or I haven't really done anything in a while. I'm just gonna continue this because there was really no point of saving here. I don't care about the beach level, that's Gelato Beach, that's for later. Uh, did you know Gelato is actually Italian for ice cream? Or is it just like an Italian ice cream? Not not directly translated, but it's like some name that they gave them. It's like, hey, we're gonna make an ice cream called Gelato. Surf and Safari tonight, baby. Uh, that isn't the song. I don't know what that song is. I know there's a song like Surfing Safari or something. Uh, presumably by the Beach Boys, who I don't know anything of, which I don't know anything about, except their lead singer's name is Brian Wilson, and I think he's dead, I'm not really sure. That's right, I'm the big daddy of blooper surfing, you lock surfing, hop on a blooper and give it a whirl, hop on a blooper and give it a whirl, hop on a blooper, hop on a blooper, hop on a blooper and give it a whirl, okay, I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh, but one thing. Big Daddy waves all liability for accidents. Oh, that that's jerkish. Um, now, if I remember correctly, this is the fastest one. Yeah, this is definitely the fastest one. Now, if I also remember correctly, there's a blue coin that I could obtain here. Yeah, so it's right there. But can I get it is the question. Apparently not. I will get that one after. Whatever. <laughs> Now, I don't, I'm not really too good at this one. Oh, that, that's all, that's always nice. Now, I don't think it's, if that's gonna like, handicap me from the mission or not. 
but I have a feeling it's gonna take some sort of toll on me. This one's quite difficult, actually. I mean, I think it's, uh, the time limit is 40 seconds that you have to beat, but I'm not really quite sure about this, because, you know, like I said, I haven't played this game. Well, since I, since I was doing my old LP of this game, so about summer of 2009, has it really been that long? Wow. It's really been that long since I started LPing. <clears throat> now, I probably lost this one. Yeah, I figured so, right? Uh, no, it's whatever. Well, we'll have to do that one again, might as well. Shut up. I don't want to talk to you right now. I don't want to talk to the beach right now, no. So I'm really not good with the pink one, because, well at least we can get that blue coin back again, so. But we only have about four days left of Christmas break, or winter break if you want to call it that. But, I mean, school, not really that bad, I mean, I don't really know why people complain about it so much. I know you're st sitting in a classroom, well, four classrooms, or depending on where you are, I guess, could be different, but yeah. In my case is I just rotate between four classrooms and I'm also starting a new semester uh, a little bit later into the month but we can probably do this one semester for another week and if you really don't care about my uh, life at school and shit um, uh, now I can't think of anything to say that usually happens a lot when I'm doing dealing with repetitive repetitive tasks such as this I mean doing this I don't wanna if I uh, if I fail out with this one more time and I have to cut this because there's really no point I have like a uh, two times and then cut rule all kind of thing whoa Nelly whoever says that ever nobody hopefully well I don't know you can say what you want Holy, that was close. Now I'm definitely gonna win this one. Yep, I believe it's uh, 45 seconds. So we we uh, if 10 10 milliseconds. That's pretty impressive. Uh, now we we looked like we were gonna crash into the guy, but I guess not. 11, indeed. Might as well save. Even though if it crashes, I'm screwed, but you know, it's not gonna crash, so. It will never crash, I swear. I swear it will never crash. Stop taunting us with that, you know, I don't wanna go on that level yet. Although, arguably, it is probably one of my favorite levels in the game. But, you know, when I said arguably, it doesn't really use the word in context, like, arguably, it's like, arguably, it's, in my opinion, it is the best. Like, as if someone's gonna say, no, your favorite is this this level. It can't be that one of Cage Shine Spray. Ugh. Jeez, this level. Probably one of the harder ones. I mean, the one that deals with platforming. I really should practice this one, but uh, then again, in terms of platforming, this is not as hard as Super Mario 64. Which is one thing that I'm thankful about doing this this LP instead of Super Mario 64. Well, I'm done with Super Mario 64. That's long gone. That's almost been done for a week now. I mean, Super Mario 64, that was just a train wreck LP. But it was decent, I, said, I would say. Well, alright then. Blue coins? Hell yeah. Mario B. Mario B, that sounds like the name of a, like a half-assed um, pop rapper or whatever. You know, like all the rappers today. Well, there is one rapper, R&B artist named Mario out there. And whenever I Google Mario, I always get results for him. When I'm looking for Mario as in Super Mario. But I'm pretty sure Mario is like the most famous, Super Mario is the most famous Mario ever. I mean, much more famous than that other pop Mario singer guy who butchered songs such as... Hey, do you think I can get this? 
Probably not. Let's try it anyways. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, f I knew I was going to make it. Now, actually... That, that That is pretty fast, actually. Uh, in terms... For my standards, anyways. But can I actually get this? Yeah, I can definitely get this one. Okay, if you hit me, I swear, I'm gonna, like, have to murder someone. Oh, that was perfect. Jeez. It's not often when that happens. But, anyways, we're at... Um... 10 minutes right now. Suppose we could, uh... Go for another one. I'm not really feeling like recording another bit. Um, because I'm kind of worried about that I'm going to fail on the next uh, mission here. Because I do kind of suck at it. And I don't really want to... If I... You know what? What the hell? I have... We have unlimited time. If I can, I could just cut it out. Save it for the next segment and blah blah blah. You know the drill. Okay, let's see. This is the one that I'm thinking of, right? Secret of Rico Harbor. No, Tower. Never mind. But I'm surprised to actually manage to get um, that last mi that last mission with so much ease. I mean, usually I, I'm quite bad at that game. I don't... I mean, the minigame. Minigame? No, we're playing Mario Party now. But I don't remember what my last LP of this game, how bad I was at it or how good I was at it. I feel like I'm talking so damn fast. Hey. Ah, that was suckage. Suckage, dude. Now, let me see if I can get this. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can spend... I can do this for, like, hours on ends. You know, probably won't get anywhere. Hey, hey, hey. Let me get up here. I said, let me get up here. Can I even wall jump off this thing? Apparently not. So I'm just going to do that one other technique again that I just did like three seconds ago but failed at doing so, 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 you know that sounds like some sort of generic slut for a name, as in everybody on MTV, hey, that 10, that, that can earn us one star, and also this, Let's see, where will we go next time? Grope, grope, grope. Uh, you might have heard my toe crack there. I'm sorry, that might have been disgusting for some, but you know, it's just air, apparently. But they could be lying, so. Ah! Uh, so, yeah, um. Today I'm gonna. If I can focus while well, talking about this, but. Um, Christmas gifts. And new games. Well, I didn't get. Well, first of all, I'm gonna talk about the GoldenEye remake. Well, I, I didn't get it, but my friend Jesse, who was in my uh, Mario Party 8 LP, which will be missed because the disc, it's not at its best and it's been acting up, and I have to kind of just erase the LP, and uh, it's not fun. But it is surprisingly good, especially the multiplayer mode. You can play online with people. It's just always good fun. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of the FPS genre, as some people might know, but it's a good game. I would have to say it's... As I do like the original... No! Like I said, uh, third time's a charm. Okay. The audio is still not muted, so let's see if we can do this. I think I can, I think I can. Now, I might be silent throughout this part, or at least as silent as I possibly can be, because even while talking, even while not talking, this is incredibly difficult for me. But the good thing about this is this part's incredibly easy, and right here there's a live, so... Well, life, I guess, because live is plural. Live happens to be a good band, too. I don't know. 
whoever listens to mute for whoever listens to good music around here. Some of you do. I know music is sub subjective, but geez, auto tune really. Ooh, another life. Get a life. Come on, I can make this. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah, to the, the yeah, to the hell, to the wiggity wiggity wax sun. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, 15 minutes, the hay. Let's try this again. If you don't want to see it, then don't watch it. As my old pop used to say back in the war of veteran 89 or whatever. That made no sense whatsoever, but who cares. Back in the days when the war, when men were men and children were children. Children were hairy guys with four eyes. Now I'm kind of just rambling on about nothing. It's a show about nothing. That was like the Seinfeld quote. Not quote from Seinfeld, but that was like how the guy, Jerry, Mr. Man, described Seinfeld. That's what I'm going to call him. Everybody from now on is Mr. Man, like their first name, and then just followed by Mr. Man, because it, it is totally better than their last name. I mean, Seinfeld is such a stupid name. Also, speaking of Jerry Seinfeld, have you seen his wife? I mean, she's like 20 years younger than, I mean, than him. Apparently, he was like 30-something, and he was dating someone in high school. I mean, that points to pedophile. I, I, I don't really know, but she was like 15, he was like 38. I mean, that, that isn't cool. Okay, somehow, if I died here, that'd be... Wow. Just my luck. Well, I'll see you uh, next part. I will just get that one off screen because see you later.